Hello, everybody. Time right now is 541. Welcome back. Hopefully your day is off to a nice start as we kind of muscle our way through the work week. Here we are on a Tuesday morning. First alert weather day. You know, we had a few isolated storms yesterday. Today, I think they might be a little bit more widespread. So uh, we declared today first alert weather day. A couple of storms might be on the strong and severe side. Not going to rain all day by any means, but certainly be a little weather weary this afternoon. Temps in the 60s. One of the warmest spots right at Westover coming in at 70 right now with do, a dew point of 70 as well. So we do have some areas of low clouds and uh, fog to greet us this morning. That'll burn off, giving way to that sunshine. Then by probably around lunchtime, we're going to see some isolated downpours start to crop up. They'll become scattered in nature by mid to late afternoon, particularly along the Mass Pike and Point South. And a couple of these storms could be on the severe style with uh, strong gusty winds. So uh, that's something to be watching out for. And of course, every thunderstorm has the potential to drop a lot of rainfall, a lot of water, and uh, some thunder and lightning with that. I think by 7 or 8 o'clock, any showers and storms will be gone. We'll see partial clearing tonight. It'll actually turn less humid tonight as our flow comes in out of the northwest. So tomorrow's going to be very warm, but the dew points will come down a little bit. So right now, aside from the low clouds, we have no rain to worry about. We have some dying showers across New York State and Pennsylvania. But this system here is going to make its way towards the mid-Atlantic, but it'll be close enough to us to instigate a few of those showers and thunderstorms. You can see the area in darker green from Maine, including most of Western Mass, Southern New England. Uh, it is under a marginal threat for severe weather. So one on the scale of five, mid-Atlantic will likely be the bullseye for severe weather today. But again, we're going to be close enough here that we're going to see some showers and thunderstorms firing up. Notice the action is basically from about Springfield down towards the mid-Atlantic this afternoon. This system moves out behind it. We should see a lot of sunshine tomorrow. It'll be hot, but not overly humid, but still warm enough tomorrow with temperatures near 90. Then on Thursday, as high pressure builds offshore, we're going to see the heat and humidity really build in here, and we'll be watching this vigorous system uh, head our way for late Thursday. That could bring us some scattered showers and thunderstorms late in the day on Thursday. With that, we're going to see temperatures come up into the lower 90s. So today, mid-80s with scattered storms. Tomorrow, no rain, a high near 90. It's hot, not overly humid, but then it's oppressively hot and humid with late-day showers and storms on Thursday. So Thursday will likely end up being a first alert weather day as well. So we're tracking your next weather maker with some of those showers and thunderstorms Thursday. Hot and humid on Friday, but likely no rain. And then showers and thunderstorms on Saturday with the uh, approach of a cold front coming in at that point. I do think Thursday and probably Friday as well are going to be possible first alert weather days here. The combination of heat and humidity on Thursday with the thunderstorms. And then Friday, it's all about the heat and humidity. That will likely be the hottest day of this week and perhaps the hottest day of the season so far. Feel like temperatures will be perhaps upper 90s to near 100 on Friday. The combination of the heat in the humidity, actual air temperatures will be in the mid 90s. The records for both Thursday and Friday are 95, going for high of 92 on Thursday. Uh, the temperatures will be kept in check a little bit because of perhaps a few thunderstorms in the afternoon. And then Friday, it's all about the heat and humidity with sunshine, mid 90s, rain chances drop, rain chances go back up on Saturday as a cold front approaches. It's going to be very humid, it'll be very warm, still getting up well into the 80s, maybe even clip 90, depending on when that front moves through. There'll likely be a few strong and severe storms on Saturday as well as the front comes through. And big changes as we dry it out for Sunday. Looks like a nice day. Monday and Tuesday look nice as well. Much cooler and drier next week. Another check of the forecast in a couple of minutes. David, over to you.